Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for standing by. Welcome to the Products Management View webinar series conference call. During the presentation, all participants will be in listen-only mode. And if at any time during the conference you need to reach an operator, please press star zero. As a reminder, this conference is being recorded Wednesday, December 30th, 2009. And I would now like to turn the conference over to Val Workman. Please go ahead, sir. Well, thank you, Chantel. I'd like to welcome everybody and tell everybody happy birthday. Oh, wait, wait, that's the wrong one. Well, to those who are participating in ReadyTalk, Twitter, and those who, re who will be reviewing this webinar as a podcast or flash presentation later, hello. I'd like to welcome you to this new session of the Product Management View series. I'm Val Workman from Nyman Technology Solutions, one of the sponsors of this webinar. And if you'd like to present in this webinar series sometime this year or propose a, a topic by sending me an email or uh, uh, IM or, or Twitter message, my email is at workmanz at rhymatech.com. The PMZ is all about distributing the shared experiences and uh, information of the members within our open product management community. And today, the PMZ is the world's largest free repository of product management recordings. I'd like to thank ReadyTalk for their generous support of this community effort and welcome Holly from ReadyTalk, who will be continuing to support our efforts during these webinars. And it's hard to get that kind of customer support these days. She'd love to have any feedback you can provide to her. And this webinar is also sponsored by the LinkedIn Roadmap Definition Cop, which is an open community of practice for folks interested in improving the practices of road mapping by product managers. We'd like to encourage your participation at Chin where you can. I'll be your moderator today, and it's my pleasure to welcome Brittany Herrera, who will be presenting Unified Cross-Functional Activities for Painless Product Management. Now, David Locke presented a while back a webinar uh, that promoted strategic leadership as a solution for strategic planning, excuse me, for strategic alignment. And I believe this presentation is somewhat aligned to this type of thinking and would recommend going back and uh, listening to that uh, webinar if this is interesting to you. For those who will be using Twitter, you can follow and add additional conversation and questions using the Twitter hashtag pound PMV during this webinar and continue conversation after this webinar. And I'd encourage you to make comments and ask additional questions on this post. I'll also be collecting questions throughout the presentation to address the Q&A session at the end of the webinar. Uh, feel free to send your questions and comments in the chat in the lower left corner of the ReadyTalks interface, and I'll try to respond to those. And today is going to be another short webinar so everybody can get back to the holidays. I've asked Brittany to try to finish up at about 12.30 Eastern time, <clears throat> and with that I'll pass the control over to Brittany. Brittany, who will now kick off this presentation. Brittany? Hi, Val. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for coming today. I'm happy to be here and glad that you um, took time out of your vacation to come and listen to um, what we're going to present. And Val mentioned we're going to talk about how to unify cross-functional activities for painless product management. This is going to be a high-level view of um, how to do enterprise road mapping and um, so hopefully that you will um, uh, find uh, this webinar useful. At PM Nerds, we have six phases. We do six phases of enterprise road mapping. Some some of you may do enterprise road mapping different ways, and these are the six phases that uh, we do. Uh, the first uh, thing on the agenda we'll be talking about is how to create an enterprise roadmap charter. And then we'll be identifying potential organizational milestones. Then we'll resolve concerns and adopt milestones. And then plot milestones across time. And then resolve concerns and adopt the enterprise roadmap. And then once we've adopted the enterprise roadmap, we'll update and modify the enterprise roadmap. So we want to make sure that we understand the relationships involved between the enterprise roadmap and the organizational roadmaps. The enterprise roadmap, primarily uh, the input comes from the stakeholders and the executives, and that input will flow into the organizational roadmap. And once it's there, it will then flow into the specific um, organizational project roadmaps. 